So in this video I'll be showing the um, or port keeper guide for resto druids. So I'm going to be showing an example of you going up as well, going to the portal solo. So I'll be going through that now. So before anything, when you start the fight, you need to check which tank's starting. Once you know which tank's starting, you can um, double hot him accordingly. Because the tank who takes the boss first is going to be the tank who comes up with you for Vulcanar, which is obviously the first, um, the first mini boss. So you want to make sure that this tank is double rejuved, and you also want to focus your life bloom on this main target, because he's probably going to be taking the most damage out of either of the tanks. So life bloom is going to obviously proc more, because he won't he won't be full health a lot of the time. So you want to make sure he's double rejuved. Most of the time, some groups send up all the melee into the um into the into the upstairs for the mini boss. So if you want, you can rejuve a few of the um, melee upstairs or a few of the ranged if you want to make sure that um, what you can do is hot up some of the range so that you're getting hots and you're getting HPS from the people downstairs because obviously you'll have the ranged and the other tank downstairs so on pull you want to innovate and obviously rejuve as many targets as possible make sure you double rejuve both the tanks because they're going to be taking a lot of damage but one thing you want to do is you want to try and position yourself um, as I've shown in the Hounds video, in between the melee and the range, just if the um, if I do a quick brush and I put a marker for the melee, so if the mar if the melee are here on blue, hitting the boss who should be on blue, and you'll more than likely have well, you, well you're, what you want to be aiming for is all your range stacked in one place on black here, and you just want to situate yourself if you're the little symbol, little druid symbol, you want to be just plied in between so that you can double rejuve as many as possible and obviously if you're running displace a beast which you should do when you're about to go into the portal quickly displace a beast over and go up into the portal and if you're healing the portal what you want to do is save a lot of your cooldowns so when you're going up for the first one maybe use essence of Ganeer and Velens because the first one's not even not really that healing intensive you kind of want to save your trank for when you're going up to green because green is a lot and lot of damage so you want to be saving Trank and other cooldowns so when you go up to green. But the first one you can just use Velens or Essence of Ganeer. So what you can do is you can just put your Effervescence up down here. Just about here where the tank is because the melee will be, all be around where the ad is. So you put your Effervescence where the ad is and hopefully everyone will be standing in it. But if you're going up, wh however many people are up, you just want to either single innovate or double innovate if there's a, like a less. Say if there's five, just double, in double rejuve all of them. But if there's about seven, just single rejuve. And this will probably cover them. If some of them need bursting, they obviously give them a healing touch. Because upstairs you'll obviously get the red swirls. If your melees don't dodge that, they can get down to about half health. So you just want to make sure they're all about 75% most of the time. So that if they do get hit by something, they, they'll survive it. Then obviously in the second portal, what you want to do is um, place your effervescence down again. What the tank should be doing is dragging the add back and placing her uh, here. So that as soon as you come up for the portal, it's the ad is just right in front of you. So what you can do is just put your effervescence down right where the tank's tanking at, around here, if you can see that. So that every all, everyone who's up there is standing in that. And then obviously when you take a burst of damage, because you'll do a poison aura, or she'll do an aura, which will knock everyone health down quite a bit. Just use a trank then, get everyone back up to full, and kill the ad quickly. And the last portal, um, what you want to be doing is making sure that you allow yourself to get the debuff which gives you mana back and try and get that as much as possible then pop your cooldowns and heal everyone up upstairs you have bloodlust you should be sending bloodlust for this last portal so it's not really a healing issue the main healing issue is this second portal where you have the poison aura and everyone's going to be taking a lot of damage usually what some people do is send more more than one healer upstairs on purple so that more than one healer gets the debuff to get more mana back but it's down to you if you do have Innovate, use it when you come up here, so that you can just Innovate, regrowth as many people as possible, because obviously you have Time Warp, so you can regrowth a lot of people, and just use any cooldowns you got left, put down your Effervescence, make sure everyone's standing inside it, and just heal as many people as possible. The tank will be taking a lot of damage here, so you want to make sure he's always topped off, got your um, regrowth, got Life Bloom, got Double Rejuve, everything. And... When you're downstairs, your main thing is just dodging the beams. You shouldn't really be using as much mana downstairs as you do up, because you know if you're using all your mana downstairs when you go up, you, you've got nothing to heal with. So make sure you're saving, you know, a 
a lot of mana for when you're going up, and then you can obviously regrow people if it's an oh shit moment, or just double rejuve as many pos as possible. But yeah, that's it for Portal Keeper. Um, I'll be putting some gameplay now of a raid of me on Resto Druid, and you can quickly see what I've been talking about. In that video, I'll be going up as well, so I can quickly show you how to do things upstairs. So yeah, I'll show you that now. Okay, make sure you heal everyone up. Make sure not a single limb getting cast off. We can still wipe now if we don't concentrate. Barrage now, make sure you dodge it. Yeah, currently. I'll let you know if there's a space move, dude. Okay.